right, we're going to do it. Every mechanic should know skill uh, video again today. Uh, we're just checking out a bike that was put away for service, or done with service. And uh, one of the things I think is extremely overlooked is checking your work. Okay, so every mechanic should know one of the things we're going to talk about is how to properly inspect your other people. So you guys are getting ready to start your fuel systems class. And what we're talking about is that you should check this before it's on the lift. Okay, and here's the reason why. I'm going to go ahead and just hop on the bike here. Is once I put this on a motorcycle lift, I ruin my ability to check cables. So let's let's get in here and from a distance grab this whole area here. Guys, you gotta remember, once I clamp that wheel into the motorcycle lift, can I do this? No. Here it is. This is the overlooked item. This all you mechanics, every one of you, need to know that these cables have routing and that the free play that's in cables or even in clutch levers is going to change from lock to lock. Does anybody ever rode a bike where you turned the corner and you weren't giving any gas and the engine revved up? It's because the cable got tight. So what you do is you find the tightest spot, assuming that the routing is correct, and you'll sit and you'll go like this. Let's, let's zoom in here and see if you can get the cable and me turning the handlebars. I'm going to check my free play as I rotate the handlebars. So I'm going to take, I'm going to check it here, and a lot of people will simply do this. They'll break it into thirds, so they'll do a full left lock, they'll do a center, and they'll do a, a right here, okay? Now, if, if I can't get free play good when it's just in this position, then I've probably got poor routing. Because what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to go to the tightest spot and go, oh, this is tight, I better set my free play here. Because do customers ride their bike in this position? No. So if I set it, if I set it loose here, and then to this point, or correctly, I'm sorry, and I get to this point, and now it's way too loose. When that customer goes to grab that throttle, they're going to have that delay or that that slop in there. Not going to like that either. So this is where the specification is taken from. Is in that common writing. Now, as we look at this bike, we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at this uh, throttle control here. The first thing we notice is that if I go to full throttle, does it snap back? No. We got a problem. This thing should snap back on its own. Something is wrong with the routing or something else. We have to get in close here and take a look here. The other thing I notice is that right away, these cables were left unadjusted. These nuts are meant when you have the free play set correct, this nut with wrenches will be locked against each other and that will not allow this distance to change on you so it doesn't vibrate going down the road. The whole point of this is that we have the ability to set our cable free play here. So I'm going to try and do that. And you guys agree here. I'm going to go ahead and lock the throttle or open the throttle to where it won't work. I'm going to take all the free play out of this. You see the cable coming back on its own? Yeah. See how it got better? But I have a ton of slop, so that's not going to work. <clears throat> so we'll see if I can adjust the other one here. I'm going to take and play with this here. Ton of play in there. So I can't fix this with these adjusters here. What do I know? It's almost guaranteed that the routing or the hookup on the carburetor itself or throttle body, if it's fuel injected, something's wrong. Let's think of something else. Could it simply be that the cables need lubricated and serviced? Well, listen, every mechanic should know. This is our responsibility. This isn't something we can overlook. And the other thing I think about is this is dangerous. you got to remember, this could be your wife, your husband, your kids, your uncle, your best friend riding this bike. When that car pulls out in front of them and they go to chop that throttle to grab the brake because they want to stop and that engine is hanging up at, at you know, riding or cruising throttle RPM, is there a problem? Yeah. Absolutely. This is dangerous, so let's do a little checklist review. Before you pull the bike up on the lift, check the throttle free play. We're going to see if, it, if we think it's inspect there just to get a rough idea. Plus, we want to see what it was like before we took it apart. These cables are routed wrong, and I put this whole bike back together, they're still routed wrong. I'm going to have an opportunity to catch it at a better time. So, 
free play, and then the, what was the other step I have to make sure to do before I pull it on the lift? Say a little louder for me. Lock to lock. Get that term in your in your vocabulary there. You always want to take the bike and do a full lock to lock. Every bike out there has a part on the on the handlebar, and the, or excuse me, the triple trees in the frame that a lock to move fully to one position and fully to another. So you definitely want to check that out. Before we close off this video, let's take a look at a bike here that this does work well on. And first thing, before I touch anything, I'm just going to walk over here, and you can see that it fully snaps and returns. But to model the same thing, I'm going to go ahead here, go all the way to the right side, it fully returns. I'm going to go to the center here, check my free play, it fully turns, life is good. If I were going to disassemble the fuel system on this bike, I know that this feels pretty good. I will recommend that when you do a fuel system, uh, you know, a car rebuild or anything else, what should we do to that throttle cable? We need to lubricate it. We already know that we have to adjust it, but man, when this is all disassembled, that is a great time to lubricate it. And you don't even have to always take it off the handlebar. If we've removed the carburetors from the bike, we could take the cable lubricate it from the carburetor end and push lubricant up to the handlebar by simply holding the cable up here. We can save ourselves a lot of trouble, maintain these bikes.